You know, Hedaya, it's evident as we go through this uh, period of lockdown, this period of self distancing, <laughs> this period of isolation, that uh, certainly in the short and medium term, life is going to significantly change for us as we as we go about our daily lives, how how they are at the moment. Who's going to who's going to thrive during this? Who's going to come out um, with that? success mentality that growth mindset that that will and determination to go on and thrive in a new economy a new market however it looks do you think well i think it's sort of going back to the people that have always done this um because nothing really is going to change in you um over the next three to six months but what's going to happen is whatever's inside of you is going to get more evident and more augmented so if you're a person that does do daily deliberate practice of internal introspection thinking about the thoughts beyond the thoughts thinking beyond yourself thinking about you know the um the meaning and the purpose uh in your life and your passions and if always if you've always been that kind of person I think you'll be fine during these periods of time. Um, so these are the people who are going to excel. Right. These are the people who are going to have the right mindset for this period of time. And these are the people who will go on and, and, and evolve and become the next better version of themselves. Now, those are the people that we should be looking at and aspiring to. Yeah. Uh, the new um, leaders, in, in other words. I think so. I think so. So, I mean, I'm not knocking materialism here. No. I'm not knocking um, companies that just think about profits all the time. But these are the individuals and the organizations and the um, mindset that will suffer over the next three to six months. Okay. Uh, do you think this has been a long time coming? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a clairvoyant or, you know, I don't actually read the future, but, you know, as they say in, in boxing and sort of combat sports, it is what it is. Mm. Uh, if you get knocked down, you get knocked down. It's all about what, you know, what you do next. And I think more and more people re will realize how superfluous and how superficial their life was. And actually they can shed a lot of shit in their lives, a lot of shit. So, you know, they'll find over the next three to six months, that actually 99% of what they were doing before was actually pointless. I think this is very important. And I think it's something that we will definitely touch upon in the breaking through event that the need to look internally for your salvation, shall we say, let's just use that as a phrase because everything externally is but a reflection of an internal state, you know? Yeah. I mean, I totally agree. And you'll find that you'll be shedding more and more of, um, of the unnecessary things and and you know that takes um, um, a, a shift in your paradigm that takes a, a, a shift in your narrative in your story uh, in your current system and that takes um, a lot of effort but you know if you've got individuals there who've, who've done it many times it, you know it makes that process easier I think also it takes a bit of bravery uh, I, I think, you know, as we've alluded to on, on, on a few of these videos, you, you know, you have to shine a light on that darkness. You have to face that resistance um, and you have to be able to flow. You have to be able to become non-resistant. I, I think that, you know, we used the boxing analogy earlier, but um, when you fight against it, you tend to get more fight. You tend to get more resistance. And, you know, as we move forward as we look internally, as we get introspective, as we become more aware, it's a calming period. It's a period of allowing. It's a period of flowing. And that's what moves us forward much more effectively than trying to fight our way through, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, as, as Mike Tyson says, you know, uh, a brawler is not a good boxer. It's always about the smart boxer. It's all about being smart. And over the next three to six months, um, it's those introspective smart people that will excel. So that's what we're going to spend a lot of time talking about. We're going to talk about the internal game because to break through first, you have to break through yourself. 
You have to break through your belief system. You have to break through your narrative. You have to break through your paradigm, as you so eloquently put it. And in order to do that, you have to do the work. It's, it's like a fitness program, right? It, if you don't do the daily work, you don't get the result. If you don't do the daily work in any area, you don't get the result. This is something we cannot impress upon you enough that you're going to have to do some work. And it begins with the breaking through event. And, and, and also, as you alluded, everyone's doing these exercises at home. Yeah. And the good thing about this event is that you can watch it at home and you can do these exercises at home Absolutely. with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. And then you can pass this, um, but should we call it teaching, onto your friends and family and loved ones as well. And that's the whole point. We'll make it fun. We'll make it educational. We'll make it relevant. How we'll get it all in an hour, I'll never know. Because <laughs> I don't know the hind legs off a donkey. But we'll try and rein him in a little bit for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Looking forward to it, Paul. As am I. Um, we'll speak soon, very soon. Take care, my friend. Take care, everyone. Thanks for listening.